The Yukon Huskies are back in the national title game for the fifth time in seven years after defeating Maryland 81 to 58 in Sunday's national semifinal. It's a mixture of excitement and focus. You know, we wanted to get to this point. This is where we talked about. We wanted to, you know, be in contention for the national championship. And now we need to make sure we really focus in these next two days for, for what's to come. I'm really excited. You know, thinking back four years ago, I was like, my senior year is so far away and it seems like I blinked twice and now I'm here. So I'm just excited living in the moment right now and just we got to make sure we come out, you know, tomorrow at practice ready to win, stay focused and then, you know, come out and do the same thing on Tuesday. I'm good about it. You know, with the way my teammates are playing, uh, I don't think that it's going to be very easy for anyone to be able to stop us. Um, so, you know, I'm looking forward to Tuesday and how exciting it's going to be. National Player of the Year Brianna Stewart led UConn with 25 points and 8 rebounds, but it was sophomore Morgan Tuck who was a matchup nightmare for Maryland. Heading into halftime, Tuck took over the game, finishing with 9 rebounds and 24 points, too shy of her career high. With any team, when you get a run of scoring, you know, it definitely keeps momentum going, and I think, you know, our goal is to try to get a run going so we can get ourselves going. Because if you're not scoring, it's hard to, you know, have control of the game and things. So I think, you know, when we got our run, you know, we're like, all right, let's play. And let's just kill them right now. <laughs> I think what makes Morgan so tough is her ability to play inside and outside. And, you know, some people, I think, don't realize that she can knock down the outside shot. And, you know, when she did that tonight, they had to guard her. And, and then she was able to go by the post or, or find a presence inside. The Huskies also got big minutes from center Kia Stokes. The senior had six points and six rebounds, but it was her defensive presence that helped UConn contain the Terrapins. We knew we were going to have a problem man to man. So we made a decision to go zone, and that's Kia. You know, So when Kia comes in, we can play a little bit of zone. We can change our man to man a little bit, make it look a little bit different than it. Than it looks otherwise. I love playing, you know, playing with a big lineup. I think it gives Stewie and Morgan a really good opportunity to play, you know, more on the perimeter. If I'm occupying their biggest defender, it makes it a little easier for them to get in the paint and kind of score around the basket that way. Everyone just tries to come in and do what they're good at. And so I think Kia, you know, kind of embodied that tonight. And when she came in, she had rebounds and, you know, made layups and she just produced for us and helped us out a lot. It's important that everybody is, is playing well this time of the season. And uh, I'm excited for Kia and Tuck had a huge game. You know, they came in and they made incredible impacts on the game so I'm so proud of them. We have a lot of versatile players so for us to be able to utilize every single person's uh, talents is uh, definitely something we want to do every single night and you know like a, on a night where you know maybe I don't shoot the best I'm able to pass to my teammates and you know facilitate a little more and they're going to get it done. Everyone is truly embracing their role on this team because with just one game left the goal is as clear as ever win a national championship. UConn will have a chance to three-peat when they battle it out with Notre Dame in the title game on Tuesday night. Reporting at Amelie Arena in Tampa for Huskies All Access, I'm Erica Walker.